I came for many good reasons of ideology and theology, but practically, I knew Israel's the future of the Jewish people, and I wanted to be a part of that future. And I knew with a little bit of create creativity and hard work, I can help build the next thousand years of the Jewish people. How, how, how substantive and amazing is that? this is a that? goal that we should and all have. There's nothing the way, wrong with that, saying the next thousand years, no, right? And, we're and that's the story. Now. You know, we're, we're still in the pioneering phase of Israel. It didn't yeah. end with Begin and Ben-Gurion. And the yeah. idea that Zionism begins when you get to Ben-Gurion Airport, doesn't end when you show up here, is something that we all need to understand. Right. So, but when I came, I came alone. And that's okay. I'm, 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 a, I'm a happy, lucky guy. And, I, and, and you're and, happy and to I be home, well, but you're still sure. lonely. So, so I came, and I didn't really have friends and family in Israel. And I came to Tel Aviv, and I started building my life. Um, but, you know, you want more, and you want more in a new home, and you want to connect more. So I did some research, and I found that my grandfather had a second cousin. My grandparents are survivors, um, Katie and David Friedman. My grandfather from Poland had a second cousin who I never knew, who he grew up with in the shtetl, who was also a survivor living in Haifa. Wow. And so I did that research, and even though I didn't know her growing up, and even though there was a blood relationship, I didn't know her, and I, but I went to visit, and we just fell in love with each other. Silla Dunkelman. <laughs> and one of her sons had moved away, and her husband had passed away. Um, and I would say she was a little lonely, but, but I can tell you that me visiting her first monthly and then weekly, and then I'd have to call her to say Shabbat Shalom, and if I didn't, <laughs> she'd call me, why didn't you call you me to say Shabbat welcome, Shalom? Like, <laughs> why, why didn't you call me to say Shabbat Shalom? She really became my adopted grandmother. And I, although it did a lot for her, it did far more, I think, for me being here, having not just a physical connection to the history and story of Israel and the Jewish people, but an actual person here who cared about me, who loved me, who I built a relationship with. And even though, thankfully, I have all four of my grandparents, then I had someone here. Yeah. And dot, 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 years later, it allowed me to, to, to build, take that model and build it to help thousands of others. Right. So this is, so let's get to Adopt let's the Thoughts. I mean, it's a brilliant program that you've managed to really, you know, cover a lot of territory. So how does it work? So Adopt the Sopta, first of all, for your viewers, Sopta means grandmother, grandmother in that's Hebrew. right. We're assuming everyone knows Sopta's so grandma. So Adopt the Sopta, that being said, we work with It could with be a Sopta too, we work with the Sopta just we, has we better love grandfathers. It. So <laughs> it's, a, it's on a big brother, big sister model. Mm -hmm. Young people volunteering once a week to visit their lonely Holocaust survivor. Um, Israel has about 136,000 survivors left. We have about 10 years left or so of survivors even existing, mm -hmm. um, and on average, 36 die a day. Wow! And they have, and we that have. We never hear about. We don't hear about it. We don't have more time, and although they have many problems with food and health care and housing, et cetera, year after year, and this is something I read six years ago that, that started this organization for me. The simple complaint, the number one complaint, loneliness. Wow! And now loneliness is a disease that affects all of us. Of all ages, everyone in the world. doesn't matter. It's right. It's always something there, right? But you can imagine uniquely with the elderly and even more like so. they're literally lonely. You know, and they even don't more have so the, with survivors, right. without question. So how have you, you know, so how has this program kind of saved you? So it's, it's saved me. It, it, it has given me an honorable mission. It, it has made my life more meaningful just being here. But it's, it's not just me, because now me is literally thousands of other young people who have taken this up as volunteers. I'm a volunteer, this isn't my job. I dedicate this to some of my tzedakah because I believe in the mission. I believe in not just Holocaust memory, but intergenerational connection. Well, and continuity as a result. With, with, without wow. question. Thank you. And it yeah. is the simplest, easiest, most beautiful way to help two populations that themselves are lonely. Are lonely. Anyway.